Everything is being serious. They don't have. They don't have. They don't know how to. Um, like the girl today, she, she was serious about about herself until I said, "Oh, you look like a hippie." And then I looked over at her while I'm doing the business. And I, oh, you're a Rasta. You're not a, a hippie. And she's like, "Yeah." She was smiling then. Right. I copped her. You know what the women are going through right now? They're all becoming soldiers. You know that? No. You don't see it, but if you analyze the way they're dressing, they're wearing boots, they're wearing really nice clothes, they're wearing like little hats that uh, are like a soldier would wear. And you're starting to see, oh, and the face makeup is like, what we've been witnessing on uh, on Facebook. Women are drawing themselves particularly well, making a face on a face. In fact, wasn't there one that, that said they pulled, uh, pulled something over their face and then uh, it was, I don't know exactly what it was. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? I don't remember. Did you see this? It was like pulling a glove over you, and it looked like skin. Did you see that? I thought I, I, thought I sent it to you. Mm, I don't remember. Anyway, that's what women are doing these days. <clears throat> Always the female is leads, leads it, everything. Always the female. We follow. The men always follow. In Hollywood, I don't know what I was following, but I know I wore clothes like that. I wore like I was in, you know, uh, it wasn't like I was in the military, but I was, I don't know, just a certain thing that that I, uh, made me stronger, made me feel I could really kick ass and dance. And I was trained to do that. I didn't just walk out and start dancing like that. I was trained in uh, in the school in Vito's school, and we, one of the places that we went was on uh, La Cienica Boulevard. Uh, a man man by the name of Winter uh, had a dance class there, and he had a uh, his first dancer was a woman Tony Basil. Tony Basil played in the movie. As a whore in uh, in um, what's the movie about the motorcycles down in the south? Where they are they driving the motorcycles through the south? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. but it was uh, it was uh, Hopper and uh, yeah. yeah. And I know what you're talking. You about. understand that? Yeah, and Fonda. And Fonda. Yeah. Well, in the end, her and uh, and a, and another woman has a crazy eye. They were they were whores in that, uh, and then when we I I think I said this to you one day we were at the uh, where the planes come in in San Francisco, and we were picking up Vito's wife and daughter. No, she wasn't picking up the daughter. She was picking up her. Here's Jack Nicholson there, and he says to he says to us. We're going, uh, how can we talk to him? I mean, you know, walk up and talk to Jack Nicholson. But Jack Nicholson was nobody yet. You understand? Mm -hmm. But we, he bought Vito's sculpture before Vito left his place, okay? So he says, I'm going to do five easy pieces mm -hmm. at, uh, up in Oregon. And those two women were in that movie too. You see? Mm -hmm. It just follows itself. So what, what I'm... Uh, that's one of the things I'm saying is that you have uh, a circle of people that keep doing certain movies and they get better and better. Yeah. And he employed, he employed a lot of us and I was supposed to be in the movie but I took off and went to Canada because of, of a bus I was in. So I missed doing the movie. I went to uh, Hopper's office in Beverly Hills and he says, Carl, I have to go. Uh, I have to go uh, on looking for locations, and I'm going to be gone. 
but be ready to do it in uh, late December. And I was gone. I was gone the first days in, in December. Well, I missed it. And Jack Nicholson got the part. Uh, yeah. But I knew where I was supposed to be. I was supposed to dance in that where they came to a commune. Yep. And yep. all those people were my friends. Uh -huh. Those, that was my circle of friends, as were our dancers. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. I have a picture of that. most, uh, a lot of those people. I have a picture of Kyle Lind and, and Rory Flynn in front of the Whiskey A Go Go. And uh, the woman I just told you that's, uh, that's a high uh, choreographer. She had the movie inside of, of the Whiskey A Go Go, and we were we got it in the movie, and we changed the whole thing in the movie. They were dancing uh, like this: one, two, three, <clears throat> you know, uh, stop, stop mm -hmm. dancing. So after they saw us dancing, they said, "Forget it, let's <laughs> get, let's get in this," uh -huh. and we changed it. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the movie. I got it written down somewhere. Yeah. That's the way it was down there. Everybody felt, uh, everybody felt that they belonged to each other. If I, I didn't need a car. All I did was go to the street, stick out my thumb, and within five minutes, somebody picked me up. That's what happened every day. I tell you a little Beatles story about uh, being hitchhiking. One of the women called the GTOs. Have you ever heard of them? Mm -hmm. um, Cinderella. Cinderella's father was an um, uh, airline pilot. And when friends came over to her house, they used to take her and throw her in the closet. They didn't want anybody to see her. Because the way she was dressed and stuff, and the way she acted. Okay. So Cinderella's out on you don't know much about Hollywood, but it's on Crescent Heights. It's a main street that comes, crosses uh, Sunset Boulevard, up where all the uh, rock and roll places are, right? So she's standing out there. Here comes the limousine. Oh, come, my dear, get in. <laughs> Fuck you. Get on your way, asshole. She's talking to one of the Beatles. <laughs> that story because those girls were so kick-ass. <laughs> she didn't know who it was, huh? I don't know. I would say it was the, the bassist because he's the asshole. And you know what Ringo Starr said yesterday? He said, wait a minute. He said one of them died in their midst in 1966. And they replaced him with somebody. Ringo said that. And he was the best Beatle. But Frank Zappa used him forever. I mean, he used to come to his house all the time. Yeah. And so did uh, uh, John Lennon, too. They all came to Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa's mind was um, music. Everything he thought about, he just you make a comment about something, he'd write a fucking song about it. Yeah. He did for me. Uh, and lately, that thing I, I think I told you guys about, um, that uh, thing with the, uh, the police stopping us on, uh, on Crenshaw Boulevard, mm -hmm. it's called Trouble Coming My Way. And that's, everybody keeps talking about that because it's here. That's what's going on yeah. today. It's the same thing. We're almost ready to riot. Uh, this guy, this this guy that's doing uh, doing the presidency, the blonde. He says, if I don't get in office, all my people are going to tear this country apart. That's what he says. And a lot of people are saying, yeah, that's right. So we better get we better get him elected. I don't give a shit. I'm going to vote for the woman. Who's the woman? 
That old green woman, that's it. That's who I'm going to vote for. <laughs> right. I voted for, uh, what was his name, in the, 10 years ago. Um, Nader? Nader, sure. Yeah. But you see, what it did, it, so many votes can, oh, uh, one of the, uh, one of the, one of the other uh, kind of people dropped out last night. So there's only three left. There was four. You kn did you know that? Yeah. So the third one, uh, yeah, the third one dropped out. He would get more votes from the green. Huh. The libertarian guy? Yeah, he dropped out. The libertarian, you know where the libertarians are? Their office? Mm -hmm. If you go straight up Lewis... And make a right-hand turn where the um, the uh, uh, where the uh, where people have the funerals or the what's that uh, Franklin uh, Franklin Cemetery. As soon as you make a turn uh, to go on on Franklin, it's right there. You see a little sign that says Libertarians, blah blah blah. Well, so did. Uh, so did the, uh, there was a badass one too. I can't remember their name. Uh, they were right on 4th Street mm -hmm. uh, going out, you know, Sonoma. They had a place there. But they have a very small situation. The Democrats are so fucking full. You know that I get three to 350 uh, emails a day from the Democrats? And you know what most of them I do? Yeah. I delete them. Yeah, yeah. Because all they say to you in the end, they give you a little bit of information, and then they say, give me some money. That's what's wrong with them. There's no difference in the Republicans or the Democrats. They're all the same, give me money. Yeah. For what? Ridiculous. Act like they don't have anything.